Hey folks, and this is Ronald again. We are playing Dungeon Universalis, and this is a small video um, about a topic I've forgotten in the last one, uh, where we were talking about movement, and um, I've missed out and or I've forgotten to mention that there's a part called um, exploration. This is, as you can uh, think on your uh, <laughs> on your own, this is um, a very important part in a dungeon crawler. And so we have a, a, a look at it now with a dedicated video, and um, I'm um, I'm beginning with this small corridor here, and we have these arrows. These are called exploration arrows. Wherever you can find these markers, um, <coughs> there's a new section to reveal, and a section is always um, um, uh, uh, a room or a corridor. With the walls around it um, um, that are all with uh, um, with a door in at, the, at an end. So this would be a, a section. This corridor is a section. And if you're going to um, add another one here, this would be a section. And this is still a section. They don't um, merge together to a big one. They they are still the same section, which is important when they are when we are spawning enemies. Um, or we are placing traps or something, so um, this is a section. And at the end of this section of this corridor there are the, um, <coughs> these um, exploration arrows and um, the f um, they are working very simple. So if, if a hero steps on an exploration arrow and is, and this is very, that is very very important, if he's facing into the same direction as the uh, arrows are pointing then the dark player has to reveal the new section. This is uh, the facing is important because you can use it for um, some um, strategy uh, when you are um, when when you are um, placing the explorer already on the uh, on the arrows, but you want to wait for the rest of the party. Maybe you have some guys um, behind you, and you want them to um, to uh, follow up. And to one, two, three, four, uh, move next to you. So if there are enemies in the new section that will be revealed here, they are not um, spawned directly, leaving the poor goblin alone with them. So the rest of the party can um, gather up at the exploration points, and in your next turn, the goblin will fa change its facing, and then exploration will start. So. When, um, as I already told, when the facing is pointing in the same direction as the arrows, the dark player has to um, has to reveal the the next part of this uh, the, the new section. The arrows will be removed, and ta-da! That's the new section. Um, along with this, there may be um, there can be spawned new enemies. The ADP also can spawn new enemies. Um, the ADP could have set a trap to these arrows, but we are um, talking about this in a later video, um, in an upcoming video, so um, uh, where we're going into detail. Uh, for the moment, it's just important you know that these are the explore exploration arrows and which reveal a new section. Another important thing with this is. If you've got a mercenary, let's pretend this is a mercenary. Um, a mercenary is, a, is a, a figure in your hero's party that is not a hero, so he has no ex he has no fortune points, but um, he's acting like a hero. This can be, let's see, uh, maybe this guy here, a human mercenary, a soldier, um, or it can be a pet, like this dog. You see it has, uh, both of them have the same um, character attributes, they have both uh, equipment, they have skills, they may have spells if they are, they are uh, those are spellcasters, so they are full characters, but um, because they, uh, they are just uh, mercenaries or pets and not, not heroes, they are just companions, they are not allowed to do um, exploration, or um, they are not allowed. They c they um, cannot do exploration. So, if you move him up here, one, two, three, four, and change his facing, nothing will happen because it's a mercenary. Only heroes 
will um, let the dark player place a new section. This is also important for the strategy because you can um, you can let the, this guy, uh, let go letting go this guy first, moving up here, step over traps or whatever, um, put him here, and the goblin who's waiting in the back is following, and then he will um, explore the new section and have this guy around him. So if there are enemies in the new section, like her, if he would be alone here. And he will lose the initiative. We haven't talked about this. We come to this later. Um, if, we, uh, if he would lose the initiative, and this uh, barbarian would uh, win, she could walk up to him and give him a full blast. Um, if maybe she has some companions too, they would also come here and all are um, banging on that poor goblin. So it's always a good idea, in my opinion. To have them, a guy around who can um, who can assist you, or who can take some damage, or who could walk into the room if they the heroes win the initiative, to um, to uh, get engaged with the enemy so they can't reach the poor small goblin here, which is not the best fighter, but he's a good explorer. That's why he's exploring the new section because he's good at perception, so he, has a, uh, he uh, may win. Uh, the initiative, and that's, a, that's a, the reason why he's exploring. So, so you can um, once again, the mercenary, the pet. Yeah, you can place on the arrows, but nothing will happen even if they if they are facing in the same direction as, as the arrows are pointing. Only the heroes will do the trick, and that's it. This is exploration by exploration arrows. We have more exploration by doors. But we are coming to this in the next video when we are talking about actions. Alright, we're done. See you in the next video. Bye bye.